Hello there. All right, so today I just want to talk about uh, these IKEA Ladera bulbs. So here's one of them. Um, this is a 600 lumen bulb, and uh, it's made by Intertech, sold in the United States. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 600 lumen, uh, rated at 8.6 watts. Um, these are normally on sale, at least here in Portland, at the IKEA for four dollars and. 50 cents. But a recent sale for US President's Day had these bulbs at 50% off. At all bulbs are 50% off. So I got a bunch of these for $2.25. Absolutely a steal. We don't have sales tax here either. So that's what I paid out the door for these bulbs. Personally, I love LED bulbs that have a clear um, dome because they don't, you know, if you have a diffused one, it actually reduces the light output. So you can buy these bulbs in both. 600 lumens um, with a frosted dome and the clear. Negative about the clears, of course, you get you might get a little bit of a pattern cast because of the way the LEDs are shining through. But um, as you can see, this uh, light bulb has a circuit board down at the bottom there with this kind of clear light guide here. And that allows the light to shine. So even at this, you can see the LED chips there, even at these extreme angles. And as you can see at the top there, there are the LEDs. So it's not perfect, but... Um, you definitely get pretty good light and they're pretty bright for 600 lumens. They're not as bright as an 800, but they're definitely pretty bright. They have a very nice light color and overall I think they're very good quality. This is um, metal, this heat dissipating area here, and this is plastic. So anyways, I had, a, I had a bunch of these and I decided to take one apart and it looked like they were actually easy to take apart in a non-destructive way. And I did that right here. So I'm not gonna take it apart to the point where I'm gonna remove the ballast, but um, it's okay because these are 100% um, definitely switching ballasts. Likely they're isolated. Uh, as you can see on the base here, uh, this has you know the ratings here. So this you can go look this up and it, it actually is certified for safety and whatnot. But um, these are nice. Um, they're not just capacitive droppers, definitely not because uh, when you turn these on, there's a little bit of a delay before the light output starts. They also have really, really good dimmability range. Um, I have a Lutron dimmer and um, has an adjustment for the, the minimum amount of dim. And these get very dim. And uh, that's really nice. And they're also very quiet. Um, they don't seem to create a lot of buzz from the inductors when you're dimming. Anyhow, so, um, okay, so first of all, as you can see, uh, the clear dome here, which here's an assembled bulb, it's not glued in and with a little bit of force it comes off. I'm not sure that was exactly the right thing to do. It has, it looks like, yeah, basically you just have to force it off. So there was a little bit of destruction when I did that. A few pieces of plastic came off, but I have a feeling this will go back together with no problems. If I might need to put a little bit of hot glue or something to uh, get it to hold together, but that, that worked pretty well. So you pop this off and then next you have the, uh, the light guide. Now this has little one-way hooks here. Um, there's a little piece of plastic on the bottoms so when you when this is pushed on uh, to pull it off. I mean, I suppose I could have been very careful, but um, oh, you can see one of them is intact here. Uh, actually, that one's intact as well. Oh wait, all three are intact. Wow. Okay, so we just one broke. So this should go back on no problem. It's not glued, um, but it has little tabs here, and uh, yeah. So this is what guides the light. So that goes on, and see these little ridges here. This has nothing to do with anything. I don't know what those are for because they don't do anything. But um, anyhow, so that goes inside here once it's all in the entire assembly. And then next up, we have the board with the chips on it. And really nice construction. Um, Ikea actually puts a connector on there, or Intertech who made these. So there is no soldering. You can just take two screws off. There are two screws that connect this on, and uh, that's it. This is definitely a metal substrate board. Let's get a closer look here. It's a metal substrate board. Now, interesting is the only part of the board that contacts the base is right there and here. So from a heat dissipation standpoint, I'm assuming they've tested and that's good enough. But hey, look, they've actually put some thermal compound down. And taking a look here, this is actually all metal, which is absolutely fantastic. So this board with the LED chips is transmitting it's uh, heat directly onto this lower base unit, which can't say that sub that seems like a pretty good design and it seems to be pushed in pretty deeply there. And you know, this, 
This might be plastic, actually. Yeah, I guess this is plastic. It's a very... It feels almost like ceramic. And um, But when I pulled the, uh, the dome off, this part, it actually did break a few little pieces off here. So, although the way they broke, they broke in a really ceramic-y way. Like, kind of a chip came off as opposed to just a little piece of plastic. It kind of broke the surrounding area as well. Either way... Um, it, it, it seems like it's pretty good at dis dissipating heat, and of course, uh, this board here, we'll do that as well. So anyhow, you can see inside there, um, I can't really see very clearly what these parts are here. Apologies for that. Looks like 68 microfarad and 80 volts, so that's the output capacitor, obviously. But you can see there's a transformer in there with a little bit of hot snot, so that's good. It's hopefully an isolated design. Um, this definitely doesn't come out. I mean, the, it's hot sn snotted in there. I definitely would have to destroy this bulb to get the get the circuit board out. But um, you know, there's definitely integrated circuits in there. I can see a lot of surface mount components. So overall, I have to say, for a bulb that's uh, as cheap as this, the construction quality seems seems quite good. Um, it's I'm I'm really surprised that. You know, they went through all the work to put connectors. You know, they put connectors on and a nice metal um, surround there. So overall, pretty pleasing. I'm looking for any kind of words or interesting stuff. Okay, so it has some certifications on here, which is nice. Obviously, um, it's a 12-chip setup. I would imagine each one of those LEDs has more than one chip inside although it's really hard to tell and I don't have I don't have a magnifying glass here but I see a date code here 2014 529 so uh, I assume either this was you know designed then middle uh, in May 2014 or it was manufactured but um, yeah pretty interesting 94 volts it says here Looking for any other interesting markings on here. It just has numbering for the LEDs themselves. It says 1430 there. Let's say down here. There's a there's a model, there's a model number right there, and it says version 2.0. So yeah, anyways, interesting. Uh, what's cool is I am positive that this goes back together, and you can easily the, the polarization here for this connector is not a problem because this board has a little notch here which matches the notch in the base there. So you just put the board on like this. Like that. And put these uh, screws in, which has a little bit of thermal compound actually on the screw, which is nice. Kind of holds them in actually. They were not very tightly screwed in, I have to say. One of them was pretty loose. Let's screw this one in too. And then let's give this bulb a test here. These are in tightly so that there's nice contact for the uh, thermal compound there. There we go. So that's in. All right, so I have a lamp here. I'll turn this off. Let's give this a test here. I'm gonna have to adjust the camera. Apologies about this. All right, here we go. Will it work? Aye! Yes, and that is extremely bright. Wow, okay, so that's really cool that it works. Let's position this down. There we go, look at that. Um, you can obviously see a little bit of a pattern here where it's brighter, but wow, that's interesting how bright that is. So, and obviously um, these components here don't do anything for dissipating heat. If anything, um, it actually may hinder things a little bit. So, um, you know, it's not like this is not like I absolutely have to put this back on. I could actually put this globe back on without this light guide. Clearly, this will be a much great, uh, it'll be a down firing bulb at this point. 
it, it won't um, you know it won't be sending light back up to the top. So to be honest, for this lamp right here, which I use at my desk here, I actually keep I do normally keep one of these bulbs in here. This was this was the one that's in there. And by the way, it's been on for about 10 minutes and it's pretty warm. Um, the entire base, even the screw E26 base here is warm, but it's not, you know, it's not too hot to hold. I mean, I can hold it. It's, it's hot, but I've tested these and they use up about 7 point something watts. So it uses up quite a bit of power. But anyhow, um, clearly in this particular lamp, which is one of these, uh, you know, cheap Ikea lights here, there's no need for light to be shining back up this way to just, you know, hit the hit the white paint on the inside. So I may as well just leave this um, this light guide, you know, off and just put the globe back on this so it's safe. You know, I don't touch the, the 80 volt LEDs or whatever, but um, pretty cool. So yeah, I kind of recommend these. Um, good, good price, especially if you can get them while they're on sale. But even if they're not on sale, they're good and they seem like they're good quality. And I haven't had any fail, so... Thumbs up, Ikea.